In this video, we shall discuss the chapter Capital Gain. I have already uploaded a part 1 video where I have explained what is capital gain, what is financial asset and non-financial asset, how to differentiate between a short term capital asset and a long term capital asset and the format for calculating capital gain. If you have not watched that video, watch that video and come back to this video so that you understand how to work out problems. In this video, I have worked out four problems, but I have not included problems with exempted capital gains. So for exempted capital gains, I have uploaded another video. The link I have given it in the description box. So let's move on to this video. This is the first question that I have taken. Mr. Kishore purchases 500 equity shares of rupees 10 each for rupees 40 per share in 2008-9 and incurs an expenditure of rupees 400 on brokerage. In 2012, he receives 100 bonus shares. In September 21, he gets 100 right shares for rupees 20 each. He sold the 100 bonus shares in November 21 at rupees 90 per share. 100 right shares at rupees 30 per share in December 2021. Compute capital gains for if the CIA for 12-13 is 200 and for 21-22 is 317. So as soon as you read a question, you have to first give a title. The title is Computation of Capital Gains of Mr. Kishore for the Assessment Year 22-23. Then provide a particulars column and an amount column. So before starting with the calculation, check whether the asset sold will come under a short term asset or a long term asset. He sold 100 bonus shares in November 2021. So the first sale is on November 2021 which is the 100 bonus shares. When was the share purchased? Look here in May 2012 he received 100 bonus shares. So this bonus share was purchased in the year 2012 and sold in the year 2021. So from 12 to 21, there is more than 12 months. Share is a financial asset. This asset is held for more than 12 months. So this is a long term capital asset. After deciding this, let us calculate the capital gain. We should start with the sale price. How much is the sale price? It is given that 100 bonus shares at rupees 90 per share. So within bracket 100 into 90. The answer that you get is 9000. Okay, with this we have to deduct the purchase price. See since this is a bonus share. This is a bonus share. We all know that bonus shares are given without any price, without any consideration to the shareholder. So, so there is no purchase price. So cost of acquisition is nil. So from 9000, if you deduct zero, your long term capital gain is 9000 rupees. Okay, now look into the next one. 100 right shares at rupees 30 per share. So when is this right shares purchased? Look here, it is purchased in September 21. The share is purchased in September 21. When is it sold? It is sold in December 21. So September, October, November, December. It is held only for 4 months. So this is a short term capital asset. How to calculate from the sale price? What is the sale price? It is given that 100 shares of rupees 30 each. So 100 into 30. You will get 3000 rupees. From this we have to deduct cost. Cost of acquisition. What is the cost price? 100 right shares at rupees 20 per share. So 100 into 20 you will get 2000 rupees. If you deduct it the answer is 1000 rupees which is short term capital gain. So I hope you understood this problem. 
Next question that I have taken is Mr. A purchased a house property on 1st September 99 for rupees 4 lakh 10,000. Fair market value of the property on 1st April 2001 is 3 lakh 70,000. He incurred the following expenses construction of a room in the ground floor during 2000 2001 10,000, renewal in 13 14 4 lakh 40,000. The property was transferred on 31st March 2002 for rupees 45 lakhs. The CIA values are given. So as soon as you read this problem, the first thing is we have to give a title. I have given the title, then provide particulars column and amount column. Now, first see what type of asset is sold. See the asset that is sold is house property. Uh, if it is a house property and if it is purchased and held for less than 24 months, we are purchasing the asset and we are selling within 24 months, it is short term. If you are selling the assets after 24 months from the date of purchase, it is long term. Date of purchase, the asset is purchased in 1st September 99 and sold on 31st March 2022. So from September 99 to September 2000, we have one year. Then to 2001, we have two years. Two years means more than 24 months. So the asset is held for more than 24 months. So this is a long term capital asset. Long term asset Sale price minus index cost of acquisition. We have to calculate index cost. Let's see how to calculate it. So we'll start with the sale price. The sale price is 45 lakhs. Writing it in the amount column. 45 lakhs. With this we have to deduct indexed cost of acquisition index cost of acquisition okay see the purchase price the purchase date is 1 1999 and the price is 4 lakh 10000 asset is purchased before 1 4 2001 we have to take the purchase price or fair market value whichever is high see the asset is purchased before 2001 so we are taking the purchase price. The purchase price is 4,10,000 or fair market value whichever is high. The fair market value is 3,70,000. So out of these two value we have to take the highest value. So the index cost of acquisition will be 4,10,000 into CIA for the year of sales. Year of sale is 21-22. The CIA value is 317. So in the numerator CIA value for the year of sale divided by CIA for 2001. For 2001 the CIA value is always 100. It is not given in the question but you should know that the CIA value on 2001 is 100. So CIA value for the year of sale divided by CIA value for the year of purchase. If you multiply this, 99,700. Okay, I am writing this in the inner column because we have expenses, we have improvement expenses. Look at this construction of the room on the ground floor during 2000 and 2001. If any improvement is made before this 142000, before 142001, if we are making any improvement, that cannot be considered, that will not be taken. So, this 2000 and 2001 is before 142001, so we are not taking this improvement expense. Come to the next one. This has been done in the year 2013 14, that is after 2001, so we can take this. So, index cost of improvement. How much is the improvement expense? It is 4,40,000 into CIA for the year of sale. Always in the numerator, we will write the CIA for the year of sale. In the denominator, CIA for the year of improvement. What is the year of improvement? 1314. So what is the CIA value for 1314? It is 220. So in the numerator I am writing 220. If you multiply the answer that you get is 634,000.
add it bring the answer to the outer column it is 19,33,700 if you deduct this from the previous answer you will get 25,66,300 this is your long term capital gain So I hope you understood this, how to calculate long term capital gain and how to calculate the cost of acquisition. See here the asset is purchased before 2001. So if the asset is purchased before 2001, how will we find out this cost of acquisition? Okay, so moving to the next problem. The next problem that I have taken is X and individual purchase shares as investment on June 10, 2020 for 1,20,000. On 1st June 2021, he started a business as a dealer in shares and transferred the entire holdings to the business. The market value of the share as, as on that date was 1,60,000. These shares were sold by X for Rs 2 lakhs on October 2021. Compute his income. So this problem I am dividing it into two halves. See the first is the asset is used for the asset. See the asset he has purchased the asset as a part of his investment. As a part of investment he has purchased the asset and after a period he is transferring to his business or profession that is he is transferring to his business. So when the asset is used by him as an investment here this asset is a capital asset when the asset is used by him as an investment it is a capital asset okay when it is transferred to his business it becomes his stock in trade because his business is to deal with the shares so it becomes his stock in trade when it is a capital asset we can calculate capital gain but when it becomes stock and trade, it becomes business income. There is no capital gain here. I explained this in my previous video. What are not capital assets? If an asset is used as stock and trade, stock and trade, raw materials of business cannot be treated as capital asset. So when the shares are transferred to the business, it becomes business income and not capital gain. Okay. Okay, with this, we are giving a title, Computation of Capital Gain of Mr. X for the Assessment Year 2022-23. First, we shall calculate Capital Gain Income. We are going to calculate Capital Gain Income. Okay, <clears throat> the asset is purchased on June 10, 2020. And when it is transferred on 1st June 2021, he started a business as a dealer in shares and transferred the entire holding to his business. So June 2020 he is buying the asset and on June 1st that is before 12 months on June 1st itself. June 10th he is buying the asset. On June 1st he has made the transfer. So he has not hold the asset for more than 12 months. So this is a short term asset. So for short term asset how do we calculate sale price usually we will take the sale price but in this problem we don't have sale price but we have market value of share on the date of transfer. So in this problem we are going to take the market value as the sale price okay the market value is 1,60,000 less cost of acquisition as this is a short term capital gain we don't have to calculate index cost what is the purchase price it is 1,20,000 so deduct 1,20,000 the answer you get is 40,000 this 40,000 is short term capital gain okay now we have calculated the short term capital gain then the asset is transferred to his business and the asset is sold. The shares are sold on October 2021. As I already told you, when we, tra when we transfer the shares into the business and the business is to deal with selling of shares, 
here it will be treated as stock and trade so this income is a business income so in normally business income how will we calculate profit selling price minus purchase price we will get profit here we cannot calculate short term or long term gain we are going to calculate business income so normally income is selling price minus purchase price so what is the sale price the sale price is look here it is given as 2 lakh rupees so the selling price is 2 lakh less purchase price In this question, the purchase price is nothing but the market value on the date of transfer. It is 1,60,000. This market value is the purchase price 1,60,000. The profit is 40,000. This 40,000 is business income. So if you are asked to calculate total income, total income is nothing but 40,000 plus 40,000. 80,000 is the total income of Mr. X.